welcome back to a brand new video where today we're talking about the gold and silver PlayStation 4s. That's right guys, the video I posted a few days back has been confirmed by the guys over at Sony. The video I did post was only talking about the gold PlayStation 4 Slim, the 500GB model. And all we knew back then was potentially it could be coming out sometime very soon. However, today... Sony confirmed there will be a gold and silver PlayStation 4 consoles, the PS4 Slim with a 500GB hard drive, and you get something special with it. When I say special, it's uh, kind of rare that you ever see this, which is kind of awesome. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to leave a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below which console would you buy, or if you are going to buy one, please let me know. Because gold and silver is always a big debate. You know, back in the day on Pokemon, do you buy Pokemon gold or do you buy Pokemon silver? It was always a big debate. And I think in general, life with jewellery, everything, gold and silver is always a hard decision. So please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. But the first thing to talk about is what is this new thing that you're talking about, which is kind of unique with consoles. Well, when you buy a console, you normally get the console itself and a controller. Well... With the silver and gold PlayStation 4s, you get two controllers. That's right, two controllers. So if you buy the PS4 Gold or PS4 Silver, the 500GB model, you will get two controllers of that colour. So if you get a gold PlayStation 4, you get two gold controllers. If you get a silver PlayStation 4, you get two silver PlayStation controllers, which is a very nice touch. Because at the moment, they're only available in the 500GB model, and I don't see them upgrading that hard drive anytime soon as these consoles are limited edition. The release date is June 28th, and if you are interested in these, I definitely recommend searching around straight away and get a pre-order, because Sony just said these are limited edition, and I'm guessing once they're sold, they're gone. But we don't know, because, you know, PlayStation currently have the jet black version, they also have the glacier white version. And whether or not they want to keep the gold and silver on the line, who knows? I guess it depends on the popularity and how, how well it really goes down with the community, really. Because at the moment, you've got the Jet Black, the Glacier White, and I think having the gold and silver as well. I think that, you know, it's always nice to add new colours to the system to give you more choice. But at the moment, only being a 500 gigabyte model, that is kind of a limitation. But like I said, these are limited edition at the moment. So let's talk about price. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So a standard PlayStation 4 Slim, the 500GB model in jet black or glacier white is around 200 to 225 pounds in the UK. Now the PS4 in gold or silver, the same specs but with two controllers, is valued at 275 pounds. So we're talking around a 75 pound or a 50 pound increase, but you do get an additional controller and you think about it, most PlayStation 4 controllers do vary from £35 to £50. So I can sort of see where they're getting their pricing from. But to be honest, it's down to limited edition. Going to be a little bit more expensive. And if you do want to upgrade your hard drive, you're saying, Matt, the 500GB hard drive is a bit small. Well, like I said, you can always upgrade them. So nevertheless. So let me know in the comments, guys, down below which console you would go for if you had the choice. If someone said to you right now, I'm going to buy you a console, which colour would you go for? And that's, you know, let's let's throw some mix into this. You know, if someone says to you right now, I will buy you a PlayStation 4 console, which colour would you go for? The jet black, the glacier white, the gold, or the silver? For me, currently, I have a PS4 Pro in jet black. It's the only colour you could go for at the moment with the PS4 Pro. But if I had to choose on the PS4 Slim side of things, it's tough, right? Because I think, A, it comes down... To where that PlayStation is going to be. At the moment my stand is all black. So I'm guessing I'd go for the jet black. But if I was choosing this solely on colour. In terms of which one I think looks the best. For me gold looks amazing. But so does silver. But gold for me it just stands out. It'd be pretty cool. I mean it's similar for me when it comes to MacBooks. Right you know when Apple brought out their silver MacBook. When they brought out their space grave. And rose gold. Then gold. And you had so many options to choose from. And for me the gold one looks good. Some people might think it looks a bit tacky. Might go for the silver one. But for me it's definitely gold. If I had the option I would have both to be honest. If I did. 
But, you know, let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. But if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. Tag your friend in the video. Let them know about some new PlayStation 4 colors coming to the scene. But as always, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.